In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning type 9, hole punching part 1. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at how the paper is folded at each of the figures. So let's start with the figure 1. In figure 1, the paper has been folded into half on the diagonal line. It has been folded along this line diagonally. So the paper has been folded like this. So that's figure one, and let's move to figure two. In figure two, if you're wondering what has been folded, to create this new thing we have on the paper, it is none other than the corner we have. So the bottom left corner we have over here has been folded right here. So all this means is that corner has been folded, and we can draw an arrow to show that. And finally, in the third figure, a hole has been punched in the top right hand side of the paper. So now we know how the paper has been folded. Now let's unfold figure three to find our answer. So let's start by unfolding the corner we have right here. So this is the first thing we're going to unfold. And when we unfold it, we're going to get the corner back. And it's going to look like this. Because we're working from backwards, we're going to do each of the steps in the opposite direction. So that means we just do the second step first. So in the second step, we folded the corner. And because of that, when we're unfolding it, we unfolded the corner. That's all. Now, let's move to figure one. In figure one, we folded the paper into half. Now let's unfold this paper and let's move that direction. So when you unfold the paper, you're going to get the whole paper once again. And it's going to be at a square shape once again. So it's going to look like this. And also, if you're wondering if you don't have any other holes in this region, well, since we have a hole here, and when you unfold this paper, you're going to get another hole right here. And let's draw it in just to be sure. So we have a hole right here. So we can see that we have two holes in our answer. So which means we can straight away cross off the likes of D and E because they all have three holes and not two. We can also cross off C. In C, there's a hole next to the bottom right corner, even though in the actual answer there is no hole to the bottom right corner. So therefore we can also cross off C and we're now left at A and B. So the only thing that's different between A and B is the gap between the circles. In both of these circles they're next to the end of the paper, so next to the edge, and they also have a large gap between them. But over in B there's a smaller gap between them and they're towards the middle of the paper. They're nowhere near towards the end. So this means we can go ahead and cross off B and we're now left with A. So let's check A just to be sure. They have a large gap between them, which is fine. And they're also next to the edge of the paper, which is also fine. So that means our answer to this question is A. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's check if A is right by folding and punching the paper. Now let's take a paper and we're going to do the first fold, which is to fold the paper along its diagonal line. So into half along its diagonal line. Now that's our first fold done. Next, we're going to do onto a second fold, which is basically to fold this corner we have right here on the left. So now let's fold this corner over to the right. And once we've done that, we've done both of the folds. All we have to do is to punch. So let's punch right here at the top right. And after punching it, we got a hole right here. Next, we'll have to unfold this paper to find our answer. So let's start by unfolding this corner. Then we're going to unfold the whole paper. And as you guys can see, we have two holes, which is the same number of holes as we have in our answer. And the holes are placed in the right position. So that means our answer to this question is A. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.